Welcome to this new add-on Spotlight. In this add-on Spotlight, we're going to look at the working title CG4, and that's specifically the latest release, which is uh, version 0.12.6. Uh, the most important fix is the uh, Flight Simulator Update 5 compatibility, and there are some known issues with the, uh, I would say, <laughs> with, with, the, uh, with the update, which required a lot of developers uh, completely revamping their... Uh, community deliveries including working title um, but i think working title is a little bit closer to asobo as uh, maybe some other companies because they released the update already a few days ago uh, so what has been improved well as mentioned already the uh, simulator update number five compatibility but also uh, several things like uh, brightness of specific displays um, flight uh, level change mode yeah, now uses the mac value for vnav climb es value for vnav descent and the fms pages to set crossover speeds for flc mode are adjusted uh, besides that the tcas uh, pages have changed right they're now uh, more dynamic um so that, that's good and nice and there are several tfc options for the pfd overlay and the mfd overlay so uh, let's uh, start the engine or let's start the aircraft. Uh, so we're gonna go to the uh, rest of the schema, right? So we're gonna follow the action plan. Park and brake is set. Power levelers are set to idle. And generator are switched to on, as you can see. And the battery switch is currently switched to uh, off, but it needs to be set to dispatch. And once we've done that, we can go and start the engines, right? So we're gonna re do that as we speak. So we're gonna uh, push the starter for the right engine. And then you will hear some items starting. Making sure the generator switched to on. Oh, sorry, this one also needs to be switched on. It was actually the uh, other button which needs to be set to dispatch. I was wondering, already wondering, how can you all see the uh, the data on the screen, right? Because the N1 and the N2, uh, as mentioned in the uh, checklist for the engine start, are displayed here. So once that's done, cancel it to run. We can repeat the same process for the other engine. So N2 needs to be above 20%. It's almost there. It actually is right now. And then we're going to stop the irritating uh, flight assistant because for some reason it reverts that option massively and continuously. So it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, so I'm going to stop the pushback. So then we're going to switch the avionics master to on and then we can switch on the lights uh, the wing lights oh, etc right so some of the buttons might not work and there are some known issues with this um, add-on it's also been known with the developers uh, so if you find more issues then please report it to them and it's also new you can now only select one of them that's good and TCAS switched off. Uh, that's all fine. So to go back to the, uh, let's say, screens, which they have updated, right? They've now adjusted the brightness of some of the screens. And here you have the uh, the, the TFC option, um, especially the overlay, as you can see, that's what this is what they call the overlay, right? The additional functionalities, which you will see here. 
Uh, in some case, you can uh, press the PFD button, which will allow you to set uh, multiple other overlays. So let's uh, go to that. Uh, you can't click here, although you might think you can. Uh, what you need to do is you need to navigate to the uh, menu. Using this button, it's always, I would say, question which one it is. And then you can go to overlays, you can select it. Um, based on that, you can uh, select either the uh, weather to be on. Or in some, if you don't want to see the weather but want to see the terrain, you can switch on the terrain. And you have the option to uh, switch on the TFC itself. So if we're gonna switch on the TFC, that's now here being shown. And that's the option being added, right? Uh, the same thing is in the, uh, the MFD. So if we would uh, close this menu, and you can do that simply by pressing a few times on the PFD button, we can go to the uh, MFD button, and some of you might already saw it on the top. That's actually here. Here is the PFD button, but keep in mind that these buttons are not working yet. Uh, there's a strong recommendation from Working Title to use the uh, Lock uh, Cockpit Interaction System. Uh, to show you where that is, you can find it in uh, Accessibility, and there you will find the uh, Cockpit Interaction System. As you can see, I switched mine to uh, Lexi, so they recommend to switch to uh, Lock. Uh, so let's do that and let's see if that helps. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it will help. Right, yeah, you can now click on it, but still nothing will, uh, will happen, as you can see. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, misleading, I would say. I also prefer to use the uh, the old uh, the old option. Um, so let me go to uh, Alexi mode again. Uh, let's find the other uh, MFD button. In some cases, it's somewhere hidden uh, here. I don't see it yet. So here it's the dimming for the display itself, right? So here you can adjust the brightness of the display. Uh, then we can look at the... Where is it? So it has to do with this display. This is the called the MFD. This works, but for some reason these buttons are not working yet. So that, that might be an issue which they need to fix. Uh, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. Um, what are other things? Uh, they've got the memory options. So let's do this one. Mem 1, 2, 3. So maybe this, we can use this uh, button to uh, go to it. This is how you can manage this one, this display. Uh, this is it. Have max text, no, lower menu. Yeah, so here you find the same options, right? So using the lower menu button, you can also access the same uh, overlays as within this one so for example you can set one display to show you the terrain and the other one to show the uh the weather and in addition to that you can set tfc on on both displays if you want uh, it's not strictly necessary uh, as you can see it controls both the display on the left side and the right side so both the pilot and the code pilot should have the same views um what are some known issues? Uh, for example, there are some issues with the GPS flight planning simvers, uh, which might not function correctly uh, because they don't sync correctly. Uh, loading and saving flight plans are, might not work correctly. Uh, there are some custom liveries which might require some adjustments because there's a change in the process. Uh, and the autopilot might, it could be that the autopilot can't be triggered via the key bindings or controllers. Uh, and if that's the case, you will need to switch it on via the mouse buttons. And you will find the autopilot option here, right? So this is the main uh, autopilot switch. So that's what you need to uh, do. You can simply click on it with the mouse and that works. Um, other than that, that there's some, some small issues which are not affecting the, I would say, the behavior of the airplane itself. So that's good. 
So this is where this how to or three spotlight it on works <laughs> or spotlight it on ants. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to, to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.